super windy. Someone is blowing me away. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel again. It's your travel partner, Moana is back in the house. <laughs> back, I'm here in Domagueri City. I left the island yesterday, um, so I decided to stay overnight here in Domagueri before headed to my province. Um, so I just need a time to <laughs> to stay for a night here to do some things especially I don't have a good connection back home so yeah I, I decided to stay here I'm here staying in um, Flying Fish Hostel they also have a private room so yeah if you guys um, happen to be here in Domagueti or planning to visit Domagueti, I highly recommend Flying Fish. I've, I've always uh, stay here on um, the hostel, the Flying Fish, because this is my favorite hostel here in the city. Um, the, the place is um, clean. The staff are very, very nice. They're well trained. Um, they're really good in, uh, serv in service the the room are spacious um the bed is very comfy i like the toilet everything here is nice so i couldn't complain um there's some probably i don't know because i didn't stay um, um in their private room but most of the time i i stay here everything is great and they also have the restaurant here which is the good thing and the restaurant offered different food they've got japanese i think they got um western food but the thing that i like here they have a coffee a really good coffee and also the bread which is they have pan au chocolat and also croissant <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce the croissant but it was yeah they have a really really good bread here so that's why i do really enjoy staying here and you're pretty close to everything so yeah if you yeah if you're going to visit um domagetti or drop by in domagetti and wanted to stay for a night before headed to somewhere so i highly recommend um the flying fish hostel you should check it out anyway today i am traveling back to my province and i'm really really excited it's been probably two years the last time i visited my um my province so i'm really really excited to 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 spend time there with my family and of course my dogs and you know enjoying the river because we have massive river if you guys wanted to watch my previous video i will put the link in the description below you can check it out and watch but of course i'm gonna bring you along with me while i'm there and showcase again my village oh, i can't wait to swim in the river <laughs> um anyway uh, later on there will be a schedule which is 2 p.m. so I'm gonna take the schedule which is 2 p.m. headed to Dapitan so my route will be um, da Domagetti to Dapitan Dapitan, Dapitan, Dapitan Domagetti to Dapitan and I will I will take the fast cut that's the only fast cut from Domagetti going to Dapitan have schedule and the rest would be the slower ferry but there will be a Montenegro, there will be another ferry, a slower one, but I, I'm i guessing it was, like, they have a schedule which is early in the morning, very, very early in the morning, so I don't want to take that. Anyway, I'm glad that they have option, the fast cut, it's from 2 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning, 
and then the next will be afternoon which is 2 p.m and then 8 p.m the got new schedule though but i'm going to put in the screen if you also plan to visit um mindanao part of mindanao which is the polog or the pitan because the city it the two cities is very very close to each other it's like two and ten minutes away from each other so anyway if you are planning to visit then yes you can check it out this video <laughs> to give you more information about this um travel how to get to the pitan how to get to the public city so anyway guys i um i'm going to wait my god i'm here outside of the restaurant i order hot latte and of course pan o chocolate to start my day and i still have like few hours before headed to the port um the check in the checkout time here would be 11 a.m so i still have time it is 8 in the morning 8 30 in the morning so yeah, i still have a lot of time to just chill and wait until you know it's time for me to go to the port and so yeah i'm going to wait my coffee and i will show you the the pan au chocolate the pan, pan au chocolate i don't know the french people make this word so complicated <laughs> pan au chocolate so yeah when french people would <laughs> say the pan au chocolate it's complicated anyway guys if you are a traveler again and um, either young or new or older this place is for you because they've, again they've got private room they got hostel where you can um, stay in a very very affordable price and yeah the bread here also are pretty good decent price so yeah I suggest again a million times I will suggest this place so yeah I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna show you the pan au chocolat and then the coffee that's my favorite part here on staying here in flying fish hostel because the food here amazing I I, I tried the food here before um, it was very very good um, but yeah I enjoy ordering coffee and then the bread so that's what i enjoy here so yeah i can't wait to well last night <laughs> or yesterday i arrived here around 1 p.m a past one and so i checked in pretty early and then after it was i was super hungry because i didn't eat i didn't eat my breakfast when i left um the island so when i got here i just put my stuff checked in and then i was like i feel quite hungry and then you know i saw the the bread display in front of the the front desk so i asked um how much will be the front pan or chocolate and then also the croissant and they said it was 50 pesos because that was quite not old but it was like um a day older than the the fresh baked bread in the restaurant so you've got discount if it's like you know um it was a days older so all the bread that they display today they will display in front of the the <clears throat> front desk and that would be cheaper way cheaper than the restaurant because the the bread in the restaurant is uh, newly baked anyway so yeah it, <laughs> i got a discount and i ordered i ordered well i bought the pan of chocolate then i went to downtown to eat a proper meal that would be my meal proper meal so i went to foodnet foodnet is a cheap affordable place for you to eat with a very very good um, food amazing i can highly recommend it and and then when i get back i of course i talked to a friend <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Look at the <gasps> It's huge. Um, yeah, and then the coffee, I'm gonna show you. 
anyway, um, continue before I will start. I don't want to this red cold but of course I want to continue anyway so I went back I talked to my friend for how many hours I guess four hours uh, four or five hours I guess that was like a good uh, talk and then after that um, I tried to work on my computer and then I order hot latte and then another type of bread it was like a Kind of similar to the croissant, <laughs> croissant. So, but it's not croissant. Anyway, I am my 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 order is here. I'm gonna show you guys. So I started my day pretty early. I woke up around 6 a.m. in the morning. There's a lot of things running in my mind. So, yeah, I don't know why. It's probably normal for us <laughs> sometimes um, if, sometimes there's a time that even if you're still s um, sleepy like you really want to go back to sleep but because of your mind there's a lot of things going on in your mind you're thinking different s stuff then you ended up you know um, staying alive <laughs> can't go back to sleep because of that and for me it's been a while that this happened because of all the you know setbacks um and also the things that i have in my mind a lot of ideas and of course again about my um the job that i'm pursuing so there's a lot of things right here so sometimes i woke up pretty pretty early sometimes i woke up around 4 a.m or 5 a.m in the morning but recently of course i i woke up early because of the tennis i've been playing tennis on the island but yeah so yeah i woke up early in the morning and i said you know i'm gonna start my day i'm gonna have a good coffee here that's why i ordered and you know just enjoy the rest of my time here before traveling so yeah i'm excited to i'm excited to to see what's what would be the next in my life because right now i'm still unsure um what would be the next but i mean i do have a list but you know um there will be a, a unexpected you know happening so i don't i don't know i'm just going with the flow i mean i really want to follow um what i wanted to do but of course not every plans is going to be perfect there might be some um setbacks and challenges of course um, but yeah i will keep pushing it i will continue doing what i want and uh, doing um, things that align to my goals in life mm. so good I feel like I'm I'm back to square one I feel like I'm I'm back from the very beginning after I didn't join the cruise like I need to continue well yeah I feel that way I feel like I have to go back again and try it again until it works I'm 33 years old 33 I'm 33 years old, but I'm still like trying to reach my my success, and I think it's fine. I mean, if you're if you're still unsure what to do, and if you're still confused, and 
you're the same age as me. Like, if you're 30s, I guess it's fine. I think it's fine. There are times that we feel this and it's pretty normal. So, just embrace it and always pray to God and try to meditate to help you to navigate and also to to clear your mind so you can decide better because sometimes <clears throat> we feel stuck and in a situation where we ended up giving up because of all the setbacks in the the question that there's no answer yet so it might take a while but we we've got someone up there who always is there for us so just ask guidance all the time because god knows everything he knows better than us so yeah just pray pray and pray and i'm gonna enjoy my group but The bird is so flicky. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do it. Like probably you put something on the top. So when you eat it, it's so flicky. Like they're scattered everywhere. <laughs> mm, so good. I miss the bread. I miss croissant. I miss ton of chocolate you, there is a good bread on the island but it's it's different like I don't know it tastes better when you're in the city <laughs> I mean there are island there are islands that have a really really good bread but sometimes when you compare it it's very different I don't know maybe the ingredients lack of ingredients just to know but yeah this is really good I think this is the best croissant no pan of chocolate and croissant I have tried it here in Damageri city and even in Cebu yeah even in Cebu well hmm yeah it's hard to to find a really good a proper croissant and also pan of chocolate here in the philippines mm. Mm. <laughs> so guys i'm going to enjoy the rest of my bread and coffee and also i want to listen um motivational video uh, what I always listen if I feel you know unmotivated so yeah if you if you feel like you know you're feeling very very down like unmotivated you don't know what to do just listen to some good podcast or video that would help you I and mean, also to to boost your you know mm, energy I mean it do help oh my god it's so anyway I'll talk to you soon better we get oh my god I, I feel like I have a food gas right <laughs> it's so good oh <laughs> yeah but it's really good
have a question guys um when you are 30 years old like when you we, yes when you are 30 like around 30 between 30 to 35 or if you're listening and you're 30 and you just got 30 um what would be the advice that you can give it to me in, in in my current situation where I'm still you know all over the place I'm still fighting for my dream job I'm still um, lost and there's uh, I don't know what to do and I have so many plans in the future but I'm still stuck in the same cycle I'm still stuck in here I want to go outside and do the things that I want to do like working abroad and after working abroad I want to do a small business so but I'm, I'm still you know in this path right now where I have to start from scratch zero um, <clears throat> I feel very down and unmotivated sometimes and well I do have some the good thing is I have people who supported me I have friends who give me a lot of encouragement and motivational you know <clears throat> words words <laughs> words um, but then if sometimes this is the hard part here in the reality i'm facing the reality you know every screw in social media if every thing that you see in social media it drags you down it is not healthy well i do create content and i do have social media so sometimes i scroll on my social media and saw all this life beautiful life like in real life perfect life and sometimes you can't deny to get envy or jealous about their life if you compare your situation and that's pretty normal these days because people can't live without their phone but I know how to handle that certain type of situation where I carried away by um, this the, discouragement because I'm still stuck and I don't know what would be my life or what would be the next steps in my life and <clears throat> I know how to handle that's why I keep listening some of the motivational podcast encouragement words from God words from you know from Buddhas and every every part of you know um, religion who do you believe and what type of things that you believe um, so yeah I try to collect that and listen which is it helped me so so much and it's very 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 helpful every you know every single day um, especially in my situation so but yeah I'm going to ask you guys um, what advice could you give me as a driven hardworking and ambitious woman like me who are still you know trying to reach my goals and i'm 33 years old so yeah if you're it happened that you're in the same page or situation comment down below if you're a woman single woman <clears throat> if you're a single woman 33 or 30 you're in 30s still don't know what to do unsuccessful yet um, unsuccessful not yet successful just comment down below um, you know I'm I'm very grateful though I'm I'm happy that I'm doing things that I love like creating content and you know trying to pursue my dream and I do have some extra things or side hustle that I did but you know I'm still in this stage where I still want to do these things that, like the main goal right now 
I would still want to pursue it. So yeah, if you're in the same page, just let me know. We can exchange ideas and opinions and also um, some encouragement words. Um, motivational you know words so you can comment down below please and also if you're listening here either you're man or woman or if you're unsuccessful or successful just comment down below about your thoughts so yeah that would help it would help for us to express you know and also to share your experience while you're still fighting fighting <laughs> fighting your battle also like me um <clears throat> so yeah I know there's a lot of probably retired people here watching and you're successful and unsuccessful probably we don't know give me your best ad advice what to do and not to do in this age like in this 30s please please do I need it Um, do I look like I'm naked? Anyway, guys, um, I'm here now in the port terminal of Tomagetti. So, um, yeah, I got my ticket to the ticketing office because the ticketing office is separated to the terminal. So the ticketing office is outside of the port itself, but it's just at the back of this before you will enter the, the terminal, the, the whole port it's pretty close you can walk to one or two minutes i guess um anyway the ticketing office have different windows which is different lines or shipping lines so there will be montenegro there will be fast cat alison for sikihor it bounds to sikihor most of it is like bound to sikihor and the pitan anyway i got my ticket which is 552 for the fast cat um it's economy so the guy told me that there's no AC, so I think it's fine. It's four hours ride, so it's not a big deal. And so then after that, um, yeah, I walked and then get my got my my terminal fee, which is fifteen pesos. And well, before that, um, the guy told me that you have to go to the terminal two, the building two. So now they separate the 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 terminal to terminal uh, for Sikihor bound, Dumagiti Sikihor bound to, and also the the Pitan or the Polo bound or somewhere else or also the Cebu because the port is huge so they have to separate it because it's if the if you arrive in the opposite side you have to walk farther if you arrive to the opposite side you have to walk at the other side so it's like it's it's tiring for I mean for me it is you know it's a hard work it's a lot of work to work um to get to the opposite side so which is a good thing right now that they have their own terminal building where you can enjoy and also good thing is people will not be in the same place because sometimes especially high season in the the first terminal i mean the first building that they have the the, the, the terminal itself before when this this um, building is not constructed yet um, all the people who are bound to Siki who are the Pitan they're going to be in the same terminal which is sometimes um, it is hot there's no chair to sit and it's like it's it feels like everyone is trying to you know be in one can <laughs> like, it's like sardine type but anyway now they have different um, terminal which is good and I'm so happy and I came early because I wanted to sit and relax and um, also I don't want to sweat <laughs> traveling is a lot of work honestly but it's fun I'm I'm really glad that you know we have different terminal right now and um, yeah they also have like a bunch of vendors here inside where you can buy food and beverages which is a good thing they have mr donut they have what else coffee they got waffle they got fries and they got 
Bachoy and Lugao here in my bag. So you've got plenty of options, which is a good thing if you have uh, a few hours waiting. So yeah, I'm excited. I know, I know someone there. Oh, uh, they're taking different um, um, ferry. Oh, I want to join with them, but you know, I'm taking different ferry. Anyway, uh, I want to take the the faster one. Mm, I think they have a lot of car um, bags also, and also they probably they have the I don't know. Maybe Alison is faster, you know. Ali, uh, Montenegro. No, that's Montenegro. Montenegro is probably will al arrive the same time with Fasca. Or maybe this one is cheaper. But I don't want to sit um, for a little period of hour in, <laughs> in the ferry. And yeah, I, li I like the I like the the fast cut though. So you know, it's not a big deal. I think the difference is not higher in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my time here inside of the terminal and yeah. I mean, I'm excited, but you don't see it in my face though, but I'm really excited to visit my parents. I'm excited to show you my place. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to eat good food that my mom always cooked for me. Excited to explore some places. So yeah, I'm excited to bring you along with me guys. And I really want to see my dogs. You know, oh, I'm going to show you the, the terminal. Okay, so this is the new terminal, the building two. Yeah, two, two, building two. So they've got that one, and they've got here. Let's check if what, <laughs> what are the, the food available here on the terminal. Okay, so here, oh, they got the, the seaport, all the, delicacies here and also what what else ah, you get these products um, local products mugs sylvanas everything and then they get what's that coffee bean food if you get hungry shawarma good morning <laughs> and they have bubble tea coffee probably this is coffee um, this is um, donut. If you want to bring something for your family, waffle, uh, yeah, waffle. And that side is fries. They got fries over there. So let's go check the other side. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm naked with this. <laughs> I have to do this so you can see that I'm wearing something. You got the fries, buko, my lemon, um, boomerang, I don't know. Oh, that's a um, souvenir, t-shirt, um, another coffee, the uh, nugget, halal, coco, foku, stall. So it's food, their fruit shake. I think they have a lot of options here than the other terminal. So yeah, if you're... If you get hungry, you've got the homemade yeah, food here. Some eggs, noodles, of course, water, and shake. Probably I'll get the shupa later on. So yeah, this is the new terminal. I really like it here. Like, yeah, I think there are more options here in terms of food and beverages than the other or the old terminal. And also they have that one. I don't know. You have to probably pay for some for a month if using this one. I don't know. It's, ah, you got to drop some coin. Like you got to drop some coin right there, so it will function. <laughs> it is. Let's check. It is twenty pesos. It's chillax now. So you will drop twenty pesos get to drop it and then use that massage chair but I am going to sit down here and chill really 
Next, I have to wear the sleeve like this. Um, the sleeve is how do you, the, we call it spaghetti? <laughs> Why do you call it spaghetti? It is a uh, thin top. We just have the four shoulder. This one is true, so it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. I'm wearing top, so. <laughs> But really, guys, be serious. I am freaking devastated for everything. But it happens for a reason. And so God plans is better than my plan. So I, right now, I'm trying to um, go with the flow, trying to ride a wave and see what could happen next. I might gonna order something because the ride will take four hours and I'm here two, three hours before my boarding time. Is it? Um, 12, fun. Yeah, I think one, two, yeah. Three hours before my boarding time. So for sure I will get hungry later on because I didn't have like a proper breakfast. Well, I had the pan au chocolate and then the hot latte so that's pretty much what i had earlier and i want to make sure that i have something to eat if i get hungry because if i will buy something on board probably it will cost me more than buying here so i want to make sure that i don't want to spend a lot for nonsense <laughs> first i'm gonna t i'm gonna buy something <laughs> am i crazy Yes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so I can't work right now because they didn't have free Wi-Fi. Didn't have internet. I'm thinking of um, working on my computer, but since they don't have it, and I have my data, I don't think it's enough for me to work do a lot of research and everything so yeah we'll probably read a book um, this book is before the coffee gets cold and this is from my friend um, I asked her if I could read it and she said yeah you can read it even though she just started it and she said you know I'm confused about the book so yeah I will let you read it <laughs> if you can understand the story and yeah she's reading different books so i'm glad that she let me borrow this book and i'm going to read it i'm just curious about the title before the coffee gets cold so yeah we'll see how how this book goes well yeah i'm gonna spend my time reading a book i'm right now i don't have a story to tell but i'm excited to go back home Probably I will be spending time there on my parents' house, probably less than a week. Then yeah. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But that's probably my plan. So let's read a book. Also guys if you if you love to read a book, um, and you've been reading books, tell me, comment down below your um, suggestion or what books that have to read for life for for good you know uh, well, motivational books or to learn right and how to face challenges um, how to be a better person everything then for 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 you for, to be a good person to be better you know to have a better life while we're here in the world so comment down below and let me know what books you can recommend so i could read it so hopefully it's not complicated you know hopefully it's cheaper also i don't want to buy books all the time anyway i just borrow books so so guys i'm gonna see you litter on board so let's read the book finally I'm here on board so I just get in here inside of the, the ferry 
the there's a delay a little bit like um what time is it i think it's um it's anyway i'm um, a little bit delayed um so yeah i don't know when it will be arrived in the pitland but hopefully it would would arrive earlier than i anticipated <laughs> because it's delayed so hopefully it would be um arrive in the Pitan City around 6 p.m. Hopefully not 7. That's probably just late for me. Anyway, I'm here and I'm gonna show you the the area here. Up it's open air, so the last time I was in the tourist um, um, accommodation which is it's AC but this one is open air so I'm gonna show you there's some uh, it's not proper people yet so I'm gonna show you guys and there's some music so I'm really tired. I'm exhausted. 